you quiet. I need you in here, Keith, and I need you quiet. Daddy! <laughs> closet though. What? <laughs> 
My name's Colin. I'm coming here to surprise my little sister. I uh, just got back from Afghanistan a few weeks ago, and it's my first day on leave, so it should be pretty good. Colin just got home yesterday. He'll be home for about a week. We haven't seen him now since January of last year. And so we've had like one or two video chats, but besides that now we haven't seen him at all, so. For some reason we just kind of were more attached than me and my other siblings. I'll give her a nice big hug. I was really surprised. It's To have them surprise me like this, it was really fun. And just to watch Kaylee's, Kaylee's expression is priceless. Yes. What, what kind of went through your mind? What were you thinking? Like, oh my god, I can't believe this. My brother's home. How long has it been, Kaylee? Uh. <laughs> Too long, right? Oh, excuse yeah. me. <laughs> I'm, all my friends are going to be happy for me. Uh, I was really glad she, uh, she was actually surprised and my mom didn't ruin it. But, I don't know, it was fun. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm so happy and excited for him to be home. We're back on this Thursday. It's 5.30, 43 degrees. Two kids in Fitzgerald are still smiling this morning, probably after getting an unexpected visit from someone very special they've not seen in about a year, their mom. For the past 15 months, specialist Lisa Fulford has been stationed in Iraq with the U.S. Army. Well, Wednesday morning, she surprised her children with a visit to their classroom in Ben Hill County. Nikki Gaskins is live in our studio with their heartwarming reunion. Well, Carla Fulford's children had no idea she was coming home for the holidays, so as you can probably imagine, the look on their faces when seeing their mother for the first time in quite a while was priceless. For nine-year-old Kayla Mansfield, Christmas came a lot earlier this year. Surprise! This year, her present is having her mom home for the holidays. It's been a year since Kayla seen her in person. Thank you, you too. Her mom, Liesl Fulford, is a specialist in the U.S. Army, working as a mechanic in Iraq. I work on uh, small tracks, small tanks, but I mostly cross-trained into working on Humvees and five tons and wreckers. She admits it's not easy leaving her two small children to live with their grandmother while she's busy serving the country. It's, it's hard. It's hard. It's something you, you don't ever get used to. Especially when they're growing up quickly, and she's not there to watch. You're almost as tall as I am. And the surprises didn't stop in Kayla's classroom. After visiting her daughter at Ben Hill Elementary, it was time to see her son over at the primary school. Hey, little man. Like his sister, this is Seth Mansfield's first time Dad. seeing his mother face to face in about a year. You're, sh you're shaking. I know. I'm excited to see you. I look at my daughter with all the pride and admiration for what she has done with her life. She's doing this for their future, but she also does it for the rest of us here in the U.S. Sheila Carswell kept their mother's return home secret for three months, something she struggled to do. Everybody that knows me, well, I cannot keep a secret for nothing. But it was a secret worth waiting to reveal. I'm glad to be home. <laughs> and Lisa plans to take advantage of every minute she has with her kids before returning overseas. We're just going to stay at home. Stay at home and spend time together. <laughs> now Fulford has about a month to spend with her children. On January 4th, she'll head back overseas, this time to Germany. Carla? Wonderful story this morning. And as Fulford did in Iraq, she will continue to stay in contact with her children through email, by phone, and through a webcam. Here we go. Come to hang out with you. 
you. Hi. So I made a promise uh, to my daughters that I would be their first date. Uh, and so my uh, youngest daughter is turning 16 and uh, I have two daughters. And so since uh, I've the first date, we'll get a limo, we'll surprise her because she still believes that I'm deployed uh, as I have been for the last six months. And uh, so we're gonna have a sweet 16, uh, spend a couple hours in the limo, give her a, a, a traditional gift that I give my daughters on their 16th birthday and uh, try to make it very special and memorable for her. She has no idea what's going on. As a matter of fact, this is the first time in a couple of years that we'll have our entire family together. Uh, so her brother uh, and I have come in in the last uh, 24 hours. Uh, we'll have our entire family together for the holidays and uh, we're excited about that. And uh, also, uh, taking an opportunity to celebrate her birthday with her. So, so part of our, uh, our nightly ritual, uh, thanks, thanks to uh, FaceTime, we get a chance to see each other daily. And uh, so I was her first birthday wish on Southwest Asia time. Uh, kind of from the hotel room kind of worked that so that uh, she's still under the premise that uh, I won't be able to be here today. So we're really looking forward to the surprise when she sees that uh, we're actually physically here. No, uh-uh. How you doing? I'm good, sir. Yourself? Okay. I'm right. Glenn. Andre Wiley. Welcome back. This is Andre the second. How you doing? Okay. I know you got your hands full. It's yeah. all good. Okay. So we're going to hop in. So we'll just hop out kind when she a, gets here. All right. Kind okay. of a surprise. Thing yes. Going yeah. I you. <laughs> you just got back Let's from... Let's get in the other side. Okay. A little easier. You just got back. Yes, last night. And, oh, wow. So just for a little bit of R&R &R and... Uh, right. I gotta turn on the lights. Okay. The lights the <laughs> that's, what, that's what happened last time. It was so many people. Everybody we passed had a camera. I was like, does everybody have a camera? No. Oh, <laughs> Stop crying. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> uh, I think these are for you. Happy birthday! <laughs> Are <laughs> right, you gonna be okay? <laughs> and I also have a special guest that came to see you. Oh yeah, two guests. Actually, I have two guests. I don't want to see you over there. <laughs> Your two friends came to see you, okay? <laughs> That's your FaceTime buddies. <laughs> Thank you. So are you surprised? Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. Were you on uh, FaceTime with them yesterday? <laughs> yeah, I was on FaceTime with them this morning. Oh, this morning? Well, like it, late last night. Oh, late last night. And what did you? What was going on? I mean, you're thinking that there's no way that he'd ever show up. Well, I thought he was coming in April or May. Okay. And so, so what did you think when you saw the limousine? Did you know it was him? Well, I thought it was just my mom and my friends. Okay. And I didn't know I was going to see my brother either. He said he had to work. Yeah. And so describe to me what you were feeling when you saw your dad jump out of the limousine. I was like, who dressed up like him? <laughs> <laughs> and so is this a great birthday present? or The best birthday ever. Best birthday ever. So, Dad, what's, what's going through your, your mind now as you got a chance to see your daughter? Well, uh, it's been six months, so just the reunion part is, is emotional within itself. And then the reality that she is 16 and growing up to be a beautiful young lady. Uh, so. Everyone's attention, right behind us in the video board, and Robert has something to say for all of us. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, it's me, Simon from Romania. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you so much for the opportunity to do this. Um, one to the team, plus your event, and um, to Alex, hope you get to see this. Sometimes you travel on the new event. Right? Uh, thanks for everything. Um, hope you get the tissues. Um, and, uh, Barton, Alex, Haley, uh, the whole family. I love you guys. Miss you. Uh, and I will be home shortly. If everything goes right, uh, very shortly. Um, can't put in the word. I want to miss you. I love you, and I will see you all over. All right, now we would like to welcome Alex. After Justin Farnham, he is Robert Simon. He will throw out his first pitch. So, Alex, go ahead and throw your first pitch. Great job. Go ahead, we'll get some ball for our pressure here. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in the room.